So the first thing you want to know about Gigabit Internet is if you post your speedtest.net results on Twitter and tag Comcast in it and they retweet it, people will tell you to suck a Hey YouTube, what's going on? Dom here. This video is about living with Gigabit Internet, which is, oh my God, the most fantastic, amazing thing. It is a little pricey, but Watching Netflix hit the little 1% or 2% thing and then immediately start playing your video before you even have the chance to back out because you accidentally selected the wrong thing is... <sighs> there's no other way to describe it, but there's a few things that you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind. One, Wi-Fi, which I'm assuming most of you have, is not as simple as with regular internet. I do not have any devices that are able to run a gigabit worth of Wi-Fi bandwidth at one time by itself. I have a couple iPhones, an iPad, my laptop, my desktop, some gaming consoles. None of those devices are able to do it. The best device that I have is my laptop. The laptop has only ever seen max 500 megabits per second, but that is far from slow. I was able to download from Steam Bioshock Infinite in five minutes. Okay, I think it's like 12 and a half gigs or so. I was able to download the entire game in five minutes at 68 megabytes, megabytes per second. It's fantastic, nothing can beat it. Now, I have the Comcast Gigabit Internet, which at the time, at this time of recording this video right now, I had to sign up to see if it was available in my area. If it is, then they'll tell you immediately, otherwise they should email you when it becomes available in your area. I spend $150 a month on this internet, but that is with the modem. The modem is like $10, so it's $139.99 plus the $10 modem. They gave me a free Nighthawk Netgear router, the AC3200 one with the three x three antennas. That's all complicated Wi-Fi stuff. Don't worry about it, don't worry about that. But that's the other thing you also have to consider is if you're going with your own router, your probably sub 100, sub 150 router is not gonna be able to output the type of bandwidth that you're gonna be getting with this internet connection. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that if you don't have one already, that if you're gonna go with this route, that you have a router that can handle that type of bandwidth because that's it. it's a big pipe. And of course, in normal Comcast fashion, they're probably gonna to have to send somebody out. They did for me at the time of recording this video. It's a $60 installation fee and yeah. So I've been wanting to record this video for a while. However, I got the upgrade in October of 2016 and I took a speedtest.net uh, test when I first got the internet installed which gave me these results right here. Now I posted that same picture on Twitter and I tagged Comcast in it and Xfinity. Xfinity retweeted it and here's some of the tweets that I got. <laughs> So, I mean, people just hate Comcast. I get it, whatever. If Comcast is not available in your area, you're gonna wanna take a look at, I know that it's becoming more mainstream now. I know that the Google Fiber thing is still around. I know other companies are starting to offer it. The prices are gonna be different. The areas are gonna be different. It's not rolled out everywhere, but if you do have the opportunity to get it, let me tell you, it is worth every single penny and nothing beats it. It's never slow, ever. You can have people over, you can be doing multiple things in multiple rooms with multiple devices, you can be streaming, downloading, whatever. I mean, you get the idea. You know, you're you're dealing with a lot of bandwidth. It's, it's a lot of bandwidth. It's a fantastic experience. And I'm here to convince you that, like I said before, it's worth every single penny. And as long as you keep in mind the things that I had mentioned before with having the proper equipment and that you probably won't have a device that can do over Wi-Fi a gig a bit per second, you're gonna be you're gonna be super super satisfied. Now, if you're doing everything over LAN, you have everything over Ethernet, RJ45, RJ Cat6, whatever it is that you have, you're gonna be fine. Now, if you've made it this far in the video, one thing that I need to explain is if you don't know this already, a gigabit and a gigabyte are two different things. To not get into crazy stuff, a gigabyte is basically using bytes, which is eight individual bits, which a bit is just a single one or zero. As you know, computers communicate in binary, which is a single one or zero strung together. A bit is just one of those digits, so gigabit is a billion of those, whereas a gigabyte is a billion times eight because using bytes, which a byte has eight bits. Pretty simple, but just know that if you're expecting to download five gigs or five gigabyte movie or something in 
five seconds, that's not gonna, that's that's not the way that it works. So I just wanted to give some clarification there. One last thing to consider too is it is residential internet, so upload speeds are weak. I'm sure you saw the screenshot that I posted earlier. It was in the 40s. Yeah, not very good. I mean, it's good enough. It gets the job done. You basically don't really need anything. I mean, the best that you should probably ever need for home is 50 to 100, depending on what you're doing. Otherwise, you're getting into some business level stuff where you're running servers, you're doing a lot of voiceover, you're doing a lot of things that are you sending out stuff. Um, Twitch streamers will probably really enjoy it. But if you're just the average gamer, Joe Schmo, whatever, you have your own place, you have your own apartment, you have a lot of people that live with you. There's numerous cases, just get it. Just look at me, look at me, get it, get it. You getting it yet? Click on the link, it's right down there, click it. So if you didn't go get it, whatever, you'll eventually get it one day, cause it's coming out. It's awesome, it's fantastic, that's the only way I can describe it. All right guys, and that about wraps it up. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button down below. Be sure to subscribe so you can get more alerts towards my new tech discussion videos. Be sure to check out some of my other videos that I've posted. And of course, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or comments for me. See you soon.